Hello everyone! Hi Lollipop, congrats on being the first! Hello Lucho! Hi Timmy! I can't believe you would come here just to bully me. That I- I would never do such a thing. <laughs> but hi everyone! I- Lollipop that I- I don't know how it lasted for like a minute. But good job on getting the first dude! <laughs> it's the only reason you're here. Dude, honestly, fair. I- yeah. I- I don't know. I don't know, dude. It is Friday today. I'm very excited. <laughs> I- I am very excited. It's Friday. I get- I get time off from school. And it's the beginning. I just started exams. It's like the calmest period. I can't- <laughs> I- I can take it easy. Timmy, very accurate. Yes. <laughs> so, I- yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm- I'm glad you have retained some of the Swedish I taught you. <laughs> Good job. I'm very proud. You can't hear it, but I'm softly clapping. You might be able to hear it, I don't know. But good job. So, plan for today is Stanley Parable, the Ultra Deluxe, to whatever, whatever. I don't- I don't know the name of the game, but it's very cool. So, I- if, for those of you who don't know what Stanley Parable is, you lost a two-day streak. <laughs> How? I can't believe you. Wow. So, Stanley Parable. For those of you who don't know, it's like a... You get dropped into an office and then a narrator is there. And he's like, you should do this. And then you can decide if you want to listen to the narrator or not. And it's a very fun game. I'm very bad at explaining it, but it's very cool. Um. Also, Timmy, just, just be careful... So, make sure that you get back to it soon before the Duolingo birds start making vague threats. So, Stanley Parable. <laughs> I wait, there you go. And does it show up? Maybe. Mayhaps. It does! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, if Timmy disappears, we, bl we blame the owl. Um, that's just how it is. Uh, so, Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe, very cool game. I I have been very excited for this game for very, very long. So let's just hop into it, dude. Uh, let me know if the audio levels are weird. I don't know if they are. I tried to test it out, but there's only so much you can do. The end is never the end. Yes, I'm so excited. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. He was happy, guys. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh no. Something he would never quite forget. Oh no. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for <laughs> All him right, to Timmy. follow. I, have no a good one time. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. I Shocked, know. frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So this is the game. <laughs> this this is the game. Um, I can you see achievements? No. Ah uh, well, I wait. The sensitivity is way too high. Why is sensitivity so high? Uh. uh... We'll try that one. That's better. All right. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What 
Could Stanley mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh no, I can't believe- look at all of these- they just left their computers on. I can't believe them. It's, 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 it's crazy, crazy. So I have, I have obviously uh, played the first game before. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, <laughs> Tim leaves her watchers for gays. Dude, fair. <laughs> um, so I've obviously played this game before. Um, and this is like a remake of the original game. So it's like an expansion of the game. So I don't know what is new and what is not. But I figure we might as well go just, we just, we just listen to the narrator. First round, what is left? That is left. All right, let's listen to him this time. I don't. That's the marvelous thing of the game. So, I it's fantastic. I love Yet this game. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside of you. Take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers. Resent co-workers for not supporting you more. I- yes. Make sure your slide has slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. I- <laughs> So basically, the recap of the game for Lollipop, because Lollipop has a hard time with lore. <laughs> we are in an office. Our job is to push buttons. One day we didn't get any instructions. Everyone is gone. Poof, gone. And now we're trying to figure out what's happening. And so, and there's a narrator telling us what to do. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. But alas, I want to explore the broom closet. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No I know, it's a very interesting plot. I could. I mean, we are on our way up there now. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Doing sweet F.A. I love the narrative. So much. <laughs> are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Have you seen this broom closet? It is so cool. Look at this broom. I wish I could zoom in, but I can't. <laughs> you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? There if is. Said, I know there Stanley is. Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention Hi, Dixie. It. Look at this broom closet. It's a very cool broom closet. We're checking out the broom closet. We're just chilling. This is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. It is my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. They will not. They will be very excited. Aren't you guys excited about the broom closet ending? It's a very cool ending. Stanley I love this ending. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. I'm not going to take that personally. Money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Slander. <laughs> I know it's not... Well, Why would this be concerning? Conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Hmm. Yes. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of <laughs> before it begins to. Sally is a hero to us all. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area 
and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right, cool. So, <laughs> what we are doing in this beautifully designing room is getting the broom closet ending, which is the best endings in this entire ah, game. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh, I promise you, I can do so much worse. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species yes. of invalids. Yes! Perhaps there's a broom closet ending. Can the controls <laughs> to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Now I don't remember if anything else happens if you stay in here. And since standing around here doing nothing is boring, I mean, I could- wait. Yeah, no, alright, we continue. That's it, that's the broom closet ending. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, so do we want to go- I'm- so, first round, first round. It's the easy round, we just- we just- we just go. We go to the boss's office, we're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be amazing. Look at this boss's office. It's so Stepping big. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was wow. once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered what in about. disbelief this picture right who there. orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? So many pictures. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Oh my and god. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Oh my god. I but think, of course, you know, Stanley couldn't you know, possibly have known this. I, I have an inkling. I have an inkling. I think it might be 2845. Imagine if I got it wrong now. Five? Is that correct? It's incredibly it is. By simply pushing wow. random buttons on the keypad. I am Stanley a magician. Happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. So beautiful. Now what? Hello. I'm going down. I don't know if I'm supposed to go down. Who would have thunk that the code would be 2A45? I certainly didn't. <laughs> I don't know where Descending I got that idea from. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Of course I pushed the big red button. Why would I not push the big red button? That's, it's a big red button. You always press the big red button. It's the law. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. It's probably nothing. We'll just go in here. It's fine. It's probably fine. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Pop. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. I don't did he know. Have the strength to find out. Do we have the strength to far find out? A left anchor reveal. I honestly, I, I don't know. Now um, the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Hey, where am I going? This is where I'm going. I, so listen, I don't know. I think we've discussed it at some point. I was like, that's not happening. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's about how far we got. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> I, to be no. fair. He refused to believe I'm asking it. To he do couldn't the math accept it. The money. His own life <laughs> in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Liver reveal. Wasn't I don't it? have a picture of a liver. Was I'm sorry. Possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I mean, to be fair, to be fair, let's be honest with ourselves. I am going to do like the first time I quote unquote face reveal. 
I'm going to wear a mask and glasses. So, you are going to see my body before you see my face in that sense. I guess it depends on what you mean with face reveal. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad so many buttons. or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Now. Should we turn it off? Because I think we should. Let's turn it off. System power off. Let's get the ending. Good ending. Head shape reveal. <laughs> uh. That's what I'm saying Battles. though. That's why I'm like, you're going to get a fa body reveal before a face reveal. Was it over? Was it over, guys? Is this the game? Is this it? Did I pay yes. 14 euro for he five won. minutes? He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to Finish feel. time, yes. Whatever life he lives, it will Remind be Remind me his. to go and follow Lollipop after and this. The, it's gonna to happen. We're gonna get you to it 50 and then you're gonna start streaming and it will be the most amazing thing mine. ever. Stanley stepped through the open door. Look at this, so beautiful. And now we escape. We're Stanley free! Felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. I know, Broom Closet, I'm so I, I want the I want to know what happens in the Broom Closet. When I'm not streaming and I don't have to be entertaining, I'm just gonna go and stand there for, for a good while and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so that that was our first run. That look at that. That is what happens when you just listen to the narrator. That is like the story. And I don't have. I, listen. I mean, honestly. <laughs> um, so, now what's so fun with this game is first of all, everything can be a choice. So, for example. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. I had never been this trained for that. Go anyway it's, it's too much pressure, the guys. I can't. Now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break I'm me. just going to go and cry in the corner. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. I will be Stanley happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. I he will be, will be spoken told to. what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Hmm, indeed. Now it's even closer. It's even closer. Here it comes. Here it comes. Death. Death has arrived. So yeah. That's why I really love this game. <laughs> Cuz everything is a choice. I wait, which one? Wait. It's All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no, no. no I no. don't. I, I can just do just whatever. can't give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five a clicks. A measly five clicks. I suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Now we're just clicking doors. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. I can't believe Perhaps it. Perhaps 50 clicks will do. Yeah, yes, 50 clicks. We're going for 50 clicks. 50 clicks. We're going to get so many clicks. Yeah, I guys have no idea how many times we're going to click this door. It's going to be amazing, and then I'll get an achievement that you guys won't see, and it will be a fabulous day for us no, all. No, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see he some wants to hustle, see some hustle. Stanley. I want to some see commitment. Hustle. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Where is door 417? I don't know. I guess we'll try and find it. 417, 417, 417. Where are you? 420. Uh, funny number. 417, 420. 417? 417! We're clicking! Ooh, Hi, Titanium. Now, <laughs> click a few times on door 437. I know, I just spooed off my auto clicker. This is gonna be great. 437, he said? I don't remember. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Dixie, I have clearly reached my peak. This is, this is, it, it doesn't get better than this. I get to click on virtual doors. I, this will be great. <laughs> 415, I don't know where it is, but I'm going to find it. 415, 415, 415. Give it to me. Now, back to door number 437. Now, back to 437. I am running so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get such a good cardio from this. I mean, honestly, I'm doing Let's amazing. See. How about you click on, well, I don't know. The copy machine. Where's the, there's the copy machine. All right, back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling it now. I think yeah, we're getting somewhere. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. We're going back to four one seven. We're gonna we're gonna get okay. this achievement. Now go climb on employee four one nine's desk. Where is four one nine? What? Four one nine. Give it to me. Give it to me. We're gonna climb on this desk. All yes. over this desk. This is great. You're Look putting at this. it all on the line, Stanley. I like We're that. Climbing. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Few clicks. We We're clicking. We almost got it. We almost now got the it. Copy machine. Do that one again. Copy machine. Let's go. Let's go. I am so hyped. This is the best thing ever. Best game I've ever Finish seen. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door. Yeah. Woo! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I I'm have one in life. How far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? So anyway, shall we do a run where we don't listen to him? I don't know where the new content is. So I'm just gonna kind of run around. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> What's up? How are we going to pressure the lollipop into starting stream? It's great. And Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. This and is the Stanley correct way. Knew it perfectly well. Stanley too Perhaps cute is winning. To yes. Stop by the I am winning at life. Just to admire it. Look at this. So beautiful. Ah, yes, Wonderful. Truly a room I love worth it. admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. I will not. Screw you. We're going in here. Stan Look at this. So bad at following I'm so it's bad at following directions. It five years ago. Do not jump from the cargo lift while in motion. It will cause death. Penalty of misuse is $1,000. Penalty of jumping is $5,000. Alright, cool. Look, you Stan, ready to freaking cost some money? Foot here. <laughs> 10 sure self you really really I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Have I? Someone have I? I don't want to be here. What? Screw you. Really? See? I, was in we, the I don't of care. Do you have zero <laughs> consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad yes. to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. No, to you show don't. you something beautiful. Look, no, you don't. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm Hi, on Zulia. your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. This is very Stanley important. Stanley walked through the red door. I walked through the red door. 
However, Perhaps. I am colorblind. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. The red door. door. Yes, this is the red door, right? Am I being stupid? This is the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But have you considered the blue door? All right, fine. Go Thank ahead, you. Stanley. I appreciate you it. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I am going. See, Look at this. There's nothing here. So beautiful. I haven't even finished I have building won. this section of the map because I you won. were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. No, you and didn't. End, it was all I saw nothing. that ending. Because this is what you wanted. <laughs> Narrative hates colorblind Help people. Exactly. Here, I'm just colorblind. I don't know blue and red. Those arrows were not convincing enough. This game better. What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work I wanted me. to me see rabbits. Nothing so far. I wanted to see animals. Hi, so Rio. Hope you're doing all right. Let me take a stab in the dark. It's at better. A new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. I have this a third option. Feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I'm gonna go for the third option. I'm gonna go for the third option. Look at this option. It's so beautiful. Okay, I love this. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would what do you we say think? that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? More choices, Feel good free or bad? To be honest, I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. He's looking for real critical feedback. I am going to go with a solid 4. That was really good. I really like that, you know? Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have One. any idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> this whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. Mm -hmm. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rowing. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. I love to this. Be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. All right, cool. We have a new version. Look at this. We have a worldwide leaderboard. I am going to be the first. I am not the first. Good old <laughs> Where am I? I am nowhere. Well, <laughs> only the worst 3% of players show us the blue door. <laughs> uh, uh, well, alright. Alright. So, we can go left, middle, right. We could go with the one that we have done. We have actually done all of them at this point. I am feeling. I'm feeling middle. Left. Yeah, we're gonna listen to him once we have dissipated him way too much. Look at this. Now, wow. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Did Again, we feel motivated? Honest answers, please. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna lie, I didn't feel very motivated knowing that I was at the bottom. Yeah, so that's right. One. That's- nope, I don't like it. I don't like hey, it. I nearly forgot, I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to mm -hmm. give it some playtesting. Yep, yep. You wouldn't Definitely. mind taking a look at it, would you? I know, it's fine. Let I can do it. it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. Mm -hmm. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands mm -hmm. of family mm -hmm. life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, Tell your the friend message that they of look the game like only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So mm. why don't you give it four hours of play you know, to four make hours sure it's effective. Four hours Be sure to keep notes on your experience. <laughs> Maybe some notes on every single channel. <laughs> You know what? Just because of that, screw you. Screw you. I'm not gonna be here for four hours. Bastard. I am, Did yes. You do it because you hate babies yes. or purely to spite me. Because yeah, it's both. Matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. Babies I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience. Babies no longer transparent. I'm gonna I'm move away from the baby. Try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. I've broken Thank the you game. For Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. 
Yes. What do we have? What do we have here? What do we got? What do we got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Yes. I'm so excited. We're going to play so many games. This will be such a variety stream. We'll play everything at the same time. It'll be marvelous. <gasps> uh -huh. Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? Wait. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, no. it seems obvious it? to me no. that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high I know this game. Tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Twisted erotic yes, purpose? That must be it. What do you want, Mo? What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love I know everything Wait. about this is game. Is it Firewatch? Standing. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. I know this game. Okay, so listen. I, as I've said, I have played the pre predecessor to this one, and now they've expanded it, so there are new things. This is one of the new things. I haven't seen this before. I did not expect this. I expected Minecraft. I'm not gonna lie. Minecraft or Portal, because that's what I remember happening after this. So, <laughs> I am very excited. Um, what? Oh my god. Hello. Hello. Because, so... <laughs> Imagine if babies aren't actually bald. Um, I have I have one game that I'm thinking of because I really hope it isn't this one. I don't think it is this one, where I don't remember the name of it. But basically, you're like in the forest and there's a monster out to get you. I don't think that is this game. I think this is Firewatch. I have never played Fire. I was I walked the wrong way. I've never played Firewatch, so I don't know. But I'm fairly confident it's not the horror game because in that one you were confined to the tower. So now, what is up here? Hello. Hello. Let's. I. I. I am so excited. Yes. Oh, no. no, 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 no. It can't be. What can't? It is. It, yeah. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it John off. John is Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. Oh, no. You wandered off into that. that thing that big open just wandering around no right or wrong directions no path to follow you can just go I in do any do see that there are oh, holes oh thank heavens we avoided can it. i get through that we're out of the woods now stanley well we're okay, still in the woods i'm going to get us out of here let's find another I'm game stuck. well Preferably i tried something with walls something with nice big insurmountable walls <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this will oh, be just Oh, the dog! The oh my god, I have a dog watching. My life is complete. Alright, now... <gasps> Riley! Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost Where's the ball? Here. Now this is game design. I wish there Stanley, was sprint. Well, get where's get the ball? Game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, I want so the what ball. Exactly do we do here? Where is the ball? There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm oh, seeing yeah. that there's a ball of some kind Hello. back here. Give me the is ball. Is this game sports ball? Yes. Stanley, I think it's, it's sports, sports ball. ball. Oh, what it's the ball of the sports. We should run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. Yes. I think surely we must. Give me the ball. Okay, Stanley. Here's the ball. Have fun. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? There's the ball. Give it to me. I'm going to be crushed, but that is fine. That way. I want to make a goal. I am going to completely miss the goal. Now you can see my amazing... Are you doing it? Uh, Are you winning? Is I am, this fun? I am winning. Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard yes. on? Yes. Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm oh, not no, a sportologist, miss, miss, miss. No, no, but no, no, if so one so ball so generates a certain there we go. raw adrenal pleasure, then... Sh I Come fell. On. What are you doing? I did not mean to do that. Then you remember in the wish. <laughs> Stanley, don't do that. Well, I can't follow you. All right, then. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. <laughs> yeah, so in the first game, that went into first playing Minecraft and then playing Portal. I did not expect that. <laughs> I am. Oh, that. Oh, that was so fun. That was really fun. I really like that. Where am I going? What's happening? I have no idea. Hello, darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
Can you show me the way to where I'm going? I don't know what's happening. What's happening? Where am I going? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go. Death. Pet him. He needs he needs attention. He wants pets. He wants he wants he wants he wants that's alright, well he wants the pets. Or food. Very possible that it's food, yeah. What's up? What's happening? Why why we run down? Why why Hello Oh we're going back to the office Hello our legend Alright let's we have we we Why not? What do we have to lose? Hello Stuff Stuff That's cool. Well, that didn't give me anything. Alright, back we go, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and it's dark. I, I didn't do found. anything. I found if happiness. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Yes. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. I'm and so happy. And the heavy cost that comes with it. Incredibly happy. You'll understand happy. soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Ah, uh, oh, fine. Yes. yes, I'll be back. There's no other when, way. When you, when you Once have... This ends, after it <laughs> I all have no comes thoughts, close, everything is fine. Then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. The end will be here soon. I can wait. I'm doing good, Will. I hope you're doing good as well. And we are once again back at the beginning, I'm assuming. This game is I love this game. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. All of his co-workers what were gone. Could what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps I missed a memo? Could I Oh, oh new Hello? content? New what content? Does that mean? New content. New content? New content? Guys, guys. New content? Oh, I thought this was boring. He's just sleepy boy. It happens. <laughs> oh my god. We have new content? It's like it's like the the Hello, what's it called? And thank it's you a small for world. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. It was going to be the best time time soon. You never know. Commercial success. It was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable. Oh my god. audiences the world over. That's so beautiful. Please step inside and see what thrilling new, new content. Await. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Yes. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very, I'm very excited. excited to see the thrilling new Ultra yes. Deluxe yes. content. Show me that new content. Show me all of them new contents. Okay, so Elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a It's the beginning of the adventure. best adventure ever. I know it is. I am standing still. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we? Uh, should Vanessa, we Vanessa from um. Oh, there we go. All right, finally, uh, Secure Beach, the new FNAF game. New or, well, content. new. I don't know if it's new anymore. More but Secure Beach. Do it. I have. Wait, do I? Wait. Hmm. Hmm. I have to. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. That one. <laughs> hey, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content. Give me all of the contents. I am so here for the content. The jump circle. All right. All right. Let's see. It's 
the jump circle? <gasps> we can jump! So for those of you who don't know, if we go out here, we can not jump. If we go in here, we can jump. We can jump. We have never been able to jump before. I can jump in this game. Is this the content game? I don't know what you mean. I can't continue jumping. I am so sad. I can't con <laughs> I wish I could continue jumping. Oh, the jumping. Yes. It was so incredible. That Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else. There right? has to be something else. There has to be more. But like, I got to jump Stanley, in Stanley Parable. That is say, beautiful. Initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting yes. new content? It's so exciting. If this is new content. Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Nice. Yes. Can we jump even more? I want to jump even more. I want to do more jumping. I want to do the jumping. I, I thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I got me. to jump Stanley? in Stanley Parable. This is what happens I, when dude, green I, video I am, game I am with satisfied. no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally Sounds good. We should all do that. Yes. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the yeah. new content, I'm afraid. You know, it, it happens. never have lived up to such expectations. Yeah. The first game was just too good. With me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? No! New content! Ah! <sighs> oh my god, wait! <gasps> oh my god! Hello? Hello! I- well, we got the hallway. Um... Hello? Hello. Good. Hello. Alright, staircase. Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Are we, are we really going to climb into a vent? Is that really what we're going to do here today? Cause like we could explore, but also there is a vent, and I know this game, and you already have seen a bit of this game. The possibility of there being an Among Us reference inside of that vent is so great that I kind of don't want to ignore it. I am not going to lie. Like I, what is up there? There is a continuation up there, but the continuation- I am going to- I'm gonna go into the vent. You can't stop me. I am the streamer. I am in control here. Among Us, please. Coffee nut. Alright, that's cool. Among Us? Among Us, please. I'm gonna go to- I'm not gonna go to electrical. I don't want to die today, but- Please. Please tell me there is. Please, please, please tell me that this okay. has you been worth it. You remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got yes. me thinking about the past and mm -hmm. how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. Uh -huh. So I made something special and you tucked it away here gently. where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Never mind. It's not Among Us. It's freaking awesome. What? You can't see my face right now, 
But I, I, I am. I call I, it I, the memory <gasps> zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life when I am I so want. unbelievably happy. Experiences <laughs> like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Oh my God! You see, Stanley, sweet, doesn't sweet the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, nice when the game originally launched. Back then, video games had integrity. <gasps> back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. I am so unbelievably happy. You can't- I- I wish you could see where I- <laughs> Oh, look at this! Silly Parable Collector's Edition. And th th they won an award and- and they won another award? No. <laughs> The British Academy of Film Television writes Stanley Parable. <laughs> I love this game so much. Good times. Look at this. Uh, I don't know if this makes as much sense when you haven't watched the first one, but it's just it's so cool. Smile because it happened. I am smiling so much. A dollar. A single dollar. <laughs> We can play the demo. Wait, we can play the demo? Can we play the demo? Possibly? No. I don't think so. Well, that would have been cool. Oh, these are the achievements. It's impossible to get this achievement and don't go play for five years. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! New video game releasing today. Created surprisingly down to earth. 50% of designer ads, but small creatures own the other half. <laughs> uh, oh, this first dollar. That's so cool. Shaggy, where are your hands? My hands are in the game. I don't know. On me at, at the end of my arms. <laughs> Ah, oh, so cool. Los Angeles Times. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Sure, it happens. And that's where he died. That's so cool. <laughs> Aww, little Stanley! Aww. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 How from Destructoid.com. Like James Describe Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives oh, and then oh, succeeds to be ad. every <laughs> game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was, it was Persona 3. It was, it so was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. I so much content, dude. Uh, portal! See, they added a portal level. Do they have the picture of the Minecraft level? Wait. Because you- Yeah, you got to go into Minecraft. They had like a little house and they went down into a mineshaft. Ah, uh, It was good. It was. I don't know what this is, but uh, memory zone maintenance. That's great. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> I know, I'm disappointed they didn't make an Among Us reference. Like, this is a game that make references to Person of the Year, Stanley. That make references to everything? I would have expected Among Us. Like, even the narrative being like, I know it's a little sauce, or something. I expected something. First got K. The blue red door! Oh my goodness. Look at this! So many boxes. All of them boxes. Your number is 29. Look at me go. I got the number 29, and the end is never the end, because of course Here's it is. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. 
that the Stanley Parable Carpetitures. is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. On, April, on 29th of April, what happened? What did I do? Also, so yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Where, what? Oh, well, we can't go in here. Kind of, kind of blocked off. I'm not gonna lie. It's a tiny, tiniest bit blocked off. Um, I think that one is a, is a last cause. So... The great wealth this memory, I guess. There's a smiley button. I want to press it. Oh, Hi, Dino. Hope you're doing right. a simpler time, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Mm, yes. Oh, we're going down here. Look at us go. Wait. I, fair. On. You know? I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. It's a cool what's part. What's this? What's down here? Cold drinks. Cold drinks are down here. That is what's down oh, here. No. God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, oh, no. the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? I'm doing great, Dino. Glad you're doing great as well. It is freaking amazing. I am- I love it. I played the first game and so I knew some of it and expected some and now I found new content and I'm just amazed. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator Door, was so many doors. and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! Unfunny? I'm trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I He's suppose a I could write here. up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Uh, you should never look at the bad comments. You look at the good ones. Unless you're looking for criticism, in which case you should look at the bad ones. Here's a good one as well. Read the good ones instead. Here's another bad one. Read okay, the good let's ones. let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game Thank is you for, the na, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You would never. You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. I would. Goodness, this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh maybe it was. I don't know. I like the game. To have to hold on it's to just two people's opinion. These marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like oh, I let these people down. You didn't. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always... What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations <laughs> of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Aww. A skip Narrator. button. Well, no. Well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. It would. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, Narrator. a skip button we shall have. Oh, I don't want to press the skip button. I don't want it. And here it is. Go no. ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, I don't want to press then the button. my goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make I am shut going up. to wait. Yeah. We'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. 
the story, and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much, and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. My advice is gently push the dog so it's on the side of you instead, and then cuddle it. Until until just or just accept your fate. And there, I honestly, and the dog is on you. You can't do much now. Can't it's a dog. Be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices or what have you. And Wait, therefore, is there repeating? by becoming it is. So on and so forth until inevitably. Is there repeating? We all until the end of I'm time. also paying attention. At which time, everything all at once. So, now you see, blah, 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 it blah, 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 200 All right, I'll press the skip. Now what? Oh, you're back, you see. Hello. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description <laughs> of it, but if I had Except to describe your it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. I heard it. You start Look, repeating I'll yourself. I'll line it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said Climb? choice. That is can to I say, climb? if by articulating a choice you've already made, you climb? bring that choice into being, nope. All right, then, then by you know, making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought, or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices. And Indeed. that they are both affecting you and not affecting you I'm making you at so many choices right now, like not pressing the, fact the that button. You both are and are not making them. Okay, at first, I was leaning towards manifesto. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. That's, I think it that's has much wise. more of a treatise vibe Definitely, to it. I agree, But wouldn't yeah. you say that manifesto just has a much grander sort of tone? It has I a mean, mouthful sure, I that guess. Is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. Very ah. ambitious history. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, sure are. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation. And yeah. I do find myself in this situation frequently. Do you know? I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other. In which case, the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in countless mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Treatise. Manifesto. I'm not going to listen to that. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? Just but a tiny bit. But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go Look off this on a plant. thoughtless display of self-absorption, cool it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will Cookie say about nine. this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. They can. I guess I have. should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. You really should. Perhaps yeah. that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. I mean, I, you I know, now we have the skip button. After it's seeing like, this it exciting new technology at work, Surely, whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and Hold implement over your a new nice. feature to make it possible to edit one's review, merely because of this very situation. Uh -huh. Yes, I think that's quite likely. Or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review. I'm sure they will. So they don't the have anything else to do. Abused. Look, I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular review so that it reads as something more beneficial. Mm -hmm. Something mm -hmm. along the lines of, this game is the best game. game. Best mm. game ever. Let me start over. How about this? From the, from the ashes of depravity rises the phoenix of quality. Uh -huh. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? 
Definitely. Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time. The best, the best ever. The and changes made to this expansion yes. will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. Definitely. I, you know, it already has. No you know, it's, it's such a, it's such a beautiful stone, game. For the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, offering mm -hmm. a message of hope to those who have ever erred in their judgment. You are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. Yeah. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this. It's what the best game ever. A privilege. A joy it is to have had such an experience. It leaves me hopeful that as a community, as a world, there is time for us to become our greatest selves, as mm -hmm. great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. That is it's, a beautiful it's review. Perfect. It's, it's the best the review ever. Review. It's the review I've always dreamed of receiving. I would be very I, happy about reading. Well, I have to I, read it. All right. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Thank now, you. I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not. Once again, when I don't have to means, be well, entertaining, really so I'm definitely just going to, like, sit about. through I'm the whole thing and see what me. happens. But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. All right. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated. I'll and we do can my say best. Goodbye to it and just. Wait. How do we get out I have here? no idea. You're the, the narrator. The door Isn't is there a gone. Door that led into this room? You I have pressed away the door. There was one here before. How else would we what have gotten into the room? What did you do with the, the door? Place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a What have you done with the door? Like do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall? It can. Not You're so smart. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. I am away from the skip button. Before, yes, there was. There? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is there any possibility that you could say I'm slam slamming your my body, body into the wall Nothing's until happening. enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, Nothing's happening. I'll take any option at all. Nothing is I'm happening. I'm asking you to work with me here. I, I'm slamming against the door. door. We need a door of some kind. I know. Look at you go. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm, I'm going to step away for just a moment, and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way. You'll find I a way. Promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't press the skip button. Please, please, please do not press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me. Mm -hmm. And don't press the skip button. Got it? Yes. Good. I'll be right back. So, once again, when I don't have to be entertaining, I am definitely going to go through this whole thing. And just wait it out and try to not press the skip button because as you said the clock will tell us how long it has been so I will know like if enough time has passed and nothing has happened then it's just you have to press the skip button but this is a game of choices where basically even when it looks like you aren't faced with a choice there is probably a choice and you can probably do something different uh, like the, the the game with the baby and the fire like in the original one if you actually sit there and press the button for four hours something different happens um, so it wouldn't surprise me if there is something if we're just like sitting here and waiting it out uh, even though it is like it looks like he's repeating himself over and over again well let's press the button shall we what's the worst that can happen Stanley Stanley yes. Stanley, please don't mm. push the button again. It's been 12 hours. All right, never mind. I'm not going to do that. There. That's 12 hours. I'm not going to do that. That's longer, not worth they're it. They're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And yeah. there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here and more. I'm gonna press oh, the button. Your back. Hello. Your back. <gasps> I'm the stand. No. To Stanley, I. No. I the plant. I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single no. person to speak with. 
And you'd think that that's just Marry how her. it's always been, right? Me talking. I would think Southern Group is brown again. I. What do I got to lose at this point, dude? I. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. It's, you. it's darkness again, now. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about uh -huh. everything we've been through. I've had uh -huh. so much time. I stopped uh -huh. keeping track after a year. That's have you fair. Ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire I year. I have. I have. There you go. I've done it so many times now, actually. Still none. I'm guessing there's still none. I shall accept my fate again. Good choice. Good choice. You know, it's doggo. Doggo gets to decide. That's just. That's just the law. It's the law of the dog, dude. There's a beeping. Why is there a beeping? Why is there a beeping? Who is beeping at me? Why are you beeping at me? Are you beeping? Is it you? I don't want to hear the But they beeping. didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where uh -huh. are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain us. Entertain us. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But yeah. then he's talking too much. They said, First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. <laughs> it's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. Uh -huh. It's the unwillingness to examine. In with an uncompromising heart, the words that they are speaking into the world, as though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one. Give me a door. Let me leave. I don't have time for this. L give me, give me, give me. It was funny the first three times. Now, it's not funny anymore. The give me a door. Is never the end is never the I know end, it's never, never the end. end. Is never the end is never the end. I know. He keeps saying this. Never the end is never the end. I know. Clock has fallen. Never the end is Hello. How is Stanley not dead? How? How is Stanley still alive? He's been standing frozen for longer and longer. Last time it was like a couple of years. That's the last time he talked to us. We pressed the buttons. A good few times since I- What? What? What is- What's up? What's up, my dude? Can I escape? No? Alright then, I tried. Uh, button it is. I mean, the thing is, right? What is the worst that can happen? For me continuing to press the button. I- Swedish time. <laughs> I was so confused. Det måste flytta, jag kan inte se timern. Så, och så. Och vi pratar svenska i två minuter. Och vi kan fortsätta. Jag fortsätter trycka på knappen. För, vad, är det, vad är det värsta som kan hända? Hej, Sverige tid! Vad är det värsta som kan Se! Nu är det massa gräs, det är massa växter. Kan vi fly? Kanske? Nej, inte riktigt än. Snart. Så små... Växter det? Nej, nej. Gör det inte. Okej. Okay. Ehm... Um... Nej, vi trycker in till. Vad är det värsta som kan hända? Allting dog. Um, vi försökte. Okej. Okay. Så kommer världen att gå under? <laughs> kommer världen att gå under innan jag kommer ut ur det här rummet? Det är det som håller på att hända här. De ljuden. Ljuden är något oroande. Det har varit här så länge nu. Uh, kan vi fly? Nej. Jo. Det finns en utgång. Ah! Sand. <laughs> jag, jag lämnar. Vi, vi, vi springer. <laughs> Nej, du vet. Jag kan inte prata svenska. Jag bara gör djur. Ibland så... Ibland så förstår folk vad jag säger. Du är jättegalen för jag vet inte ens själv vad det är jag säger. Jag tror att det här är ett håll. Jag bara går. Jag bara antar att det här är ett håll. Jag bara går. Vi, vi får se vad som händer. Så småningom händer väl någonting antar jag. 
All right, that is Swedish time. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't know Swedish. I just make sounds, and then sometimes it makes sense, and then people respond to me, and it's crazy. The end is never the end. And we have returned, and that was the end. <laughs> Uh. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley mm -hmm. just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Don't mind me. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. I have broken the map. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. No, nope, I've broken the map. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary. I know, all because we went into a vent. <laughs> all because we jumped a few times. Of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this I love a it. fun and unique place to be? I know, Why it's the best. take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, it's I'm so beautiful. It now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Sure. Are we sick of this gag yet? I would say yeah. I yeah. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart I the could. game any old time you but want. But that's not as like fun. Right now. I'm not gonna you do it. You could have done it just then. I could have. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. It would. Any of these but I'm not a so quitter. Many, many more. All of them are appropriate. Uh huh. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on, where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. I'm not gonna so restart the game. Just to push the envelope. Uh -huh. I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how All long right. you can I'm maintain. comfortable. Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> Begin the game again. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Sorry playing bad your music. It's not worth it. <sighs> That's- no, All no. It's not worth it. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm, yes, the meeting room. I'm sorry, new new content in Ali. It's a freaking I. Yes, I'm doing oh, it. Good. You noticed my. Sign. I noticed the sign. Yes, yeah. I have something very exciting yeah. to show you. Do we get to jump again? I want to jump again. I want to jump again. Please let me jump. It's all I want. It's all I ever wanted. Oh, we don't get to see the thing again? Ah. Uh, if this goes on to be the same thing. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley It's not going to be the same thing. And about how roundly disappointing mm -hmm. this ultra I want to jump. has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it. One so, Shaggy with a C is, is the Shad version really of my normal skin. That is essentially it. The Stanley Parable 2. I'm looking the wrong way. Stanley Parable 2? The never, the end is yes, never the end see, again. Isn't this far superior oh my to God! A re Shabby Shaggy. <laughs> minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll cover. Or two seven. Oh my seat. God! An so many twos. new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Is it now? All right, cool. I, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. They sing two prints at the same time. That's freaking amazing. That's so cool. Can I? Nope. All right. You know, I tried. We like to. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's it sure is. It's so beautiful. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Yes. So, so much long-term franchising. It's going to be amazing. 100 years of Stan Stanley Parable. 100 years, so many episodes. Five, seven, seven, five seasons and a movie. It's gonna be amazing. So many tales. Look at all of these tales. They have a MacBook? But it's not an a MacBook. It's a bird. It's a bird. It is simply a bird. New content is out. New content. 
It's in foreign section of the chart. Cool red section of the chart. Yup, that yup. Mm -hmm. Old Boston, new hardness. It's so cool. So they're 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 back. Two doors. Wow, I am so amazed by this. You have no idea. Uh, I thought that was popcorn. I was very excited. Now I'm not as excited anymore. My pie book. Yes. Indeed. That, yep. Mm -hmm. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely it's organize the red marker. a handful Me. of interesting <laughs> concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Uh -huh. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or Sequels logical. Sequels are good. Really. Portal 2, Half-Life 2, Batman, Arkham Asylum 2, City, Divinity Original Sin 2, Doom 2, Alan 2, Return of Jafar, Dark Souls 2. All good sequels, I'm sure. Portal 2, at least. Portal 2, it's so great. Uh, to the Santa Parable is the prequel to the Santa Parable 2. I have no idea. The sequel. This way to the show for him? Oh my god, we got a show for <gasps> Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, audience. Hello. There's a bus to the new content. Hello, can I en I cannot enter the bus. I tried. Um. Alright, what's up? What's up? I, I'm severely disappointed I don't get to jump, but you know. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. <gasps> the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Oh my god. Hear your name in the game? Can I hear my name in the game? I can hear my For name the in the Stanley game. Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of Road course, to the perfect first button. and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as Indeed. people. Indeed, yes. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Can I press it? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. <laughs> I promise you'll love it. Okay, it would have been so go. funny. I, breath, uh, I wish mind, I wish I knew someone called are, Jim just so they could play this and be like, just press Jim. the button. I, I am Jim. You imagine yourself I am Jim. I am Jim. I am a man. As Jim. I I I I, I, I Jim. my name is Jim. I am Jim. Little did you know my real name is Jim. Jim. I am Jim. Watching your dreams crumble into dust. They're crumbling into Do dust. Feel it deeply? I am are Jim. You really truly Jim right I am now? Jim. I am Jim. So, then please I'm sorry. My setting I listen controls. Why would you make crouch left control? Thank you. It's been bugging me for a bit now. Please step forward and press the button. Jim. Oh my god, they knew my name. That's yes, so amazing. You see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. Change his stream the name. <laughs> you. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, oh my god. I, I am so amazed. This button sure. knows. It knows it's my even name. The second time. If this were the only new feature oh my in the god. Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. So worth it. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal value. Would you hear? I would never be sarcastic. Sulia, would I be sarcastic? I would never be sarcastic. What's on this computer? I can't see because I can't zoom in. I just tried to zoom in. That didn't work. You know? It happens. <laughs> Ah, amazing, amazing. I love the sequel already. It's such a great sequel. Such a great sequel. I got- I- I am now named Jim. I-, I, suppose I could it's allow not- I've never been happier. I name Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. The baby is all grown up. No, it's not. Bankruptcy! <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. Bankruptcy! <laughs> Uh, wait, so what is the- what is the screenshot? Is F12? No. Yes? No. What is the screenshot on? How do I take a screenshot? I'm not sure. How do I do it? What do I do? It is F12. Can I not? Either I can't take screenshots? 
All right. Well, you know what? You know what? Oh, well, it happens. I tried. Apparently, I can't take screenshots. I don't know why. <gasps> jump circle. I want to go to I'm going to go to jump, jump circle. Queen, you want to see achievements? Oh my god. Wait, where is the jump circle? I want to go to jump circle. Where is the jump circle? Jump circle. N. That doesn't tell me anything. This map. Free achievement. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Merch. Serie World Champion. The standard parable reassurance bucket. Office decorations. Epilogue. Collectibles. Infinite hole. And exit. Where? Where? Infinite hole. I don't want to go to the... I, I want I want to jump. I want to jump. Where is the jump? Jump? Free achievement. Where is the jump? I don't know. I all right. Free achievement, I guess. Look at me go. Pull the lever. Receive your achievement. No more steps. I no. I want to jump. I want to do the jump. Uh, for steam, yeah. Oh, there's a jump circle. I just missed it. Can I jump, or is it just? You know what? Let's bring <gasps> the jump circle back to yes! Stanley Parable Two as well. Yes. Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw I the jump circle. I want to jump again. Mm, it was oh too well. marvelous. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. No! I want to continue jumping. Oh! I got too greedy. <sighs> Alright, let's go collectibles then, I guess. Here I was. Excited that I, I was going to... All right, then. I was going to get to jump again. It's just I'm just not going to be ah, able to jump. Collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the sure Stanley is. Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Oh? And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. That's wonderful. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Nice. Nice. Dude, I'm satisfied with that. Can I walk over there? I can. What am I walking on? Nothing. I don't look down and everything will be fine. It's it's um it's the um um cartoon physics, you know? If you don't look down everything's fine. I mine. Yes. I won. I have a collectible. I didn't collect the <gasps> There was one. There was one in the in the the house of memories. I'm gonna have to go back to the house of Me Oh no. Am I able to go back to the house of memories? I'm not sure. God, it oh, really is the no. worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely oh, tragic. Oh no. I remember seeing it, and I was like, "That's cool." And then I never did anything with it. Now here's Wait, something so what special. Was... You remember that broken test achievement cool. that got left in the game on accident? Yeah. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. That sounds amazing. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. I know. As soon as I stop having to be entertaining, I can, like, put on a movie in the background. I'm going to have so much to do. Also, this is so sad. I am so sad. I... 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 Sadness. I've never been this sad before. I like the jump circle. And we don't even get to jump what anymore. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? I don't know. What have we not seen? What have we not been? What have we not done? I think- have we done everything? I don't remember. What have we missed? We haven't gone to the merch. Uh... Alright, so it's like that. Where is- where is the merch? 
said. It's through here and up. Oh, merch. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. We saw the merch. Here's the merch. Look at this merch. You get so much merch. It's amazing. Is there a Stanley Parable collectible? We can't get behind. Well, I tried. <laughs> Office decorations. Oh my god. Look at that giant Stanley. The reassurance bucket. We gotta see the reassurance bucket. It's very important. We gotta see the reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic the sense of gone. reckless despair Where's the in bucket? those who played it. There's well, no bucket. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. There is no bucket. It's Where's the, the bucket? Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. There is no bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind. Where's the bucket? Give me the bucket. True. I want the bucket. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many I want the bucket. contradictions of the Stanley Parable I want the will bucket. feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Give me the you bucket. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Give it to and me. To be honest, I want it's the bucket. It's a much more convenient solution for me than Give me the bucket. actually redesigning the game Give it. to be less uncomfortable. Give. Could you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. I can't. The Give it to me. Is the perfect solution. I want it. Give it a yes. Try. Give me the bucket. <laughs> I have a bucket. He's laughing Can at me. Can you feel it? Yes. The glow of comfort, even I have in the a face of crushing Guys, despair, I have achieved a bucket. must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, My can bucket. I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Yes. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. I am so attractive. The benefits of the bucket you don't even seem know. to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I get to keep the bucket. Oh my god! I get to keep the bucket. I'm. I am. I am. I have a bucket. I have won this game. Does anyone game. give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. I have like a bucket. Balloons, but I'm undecided on get well someday. And happy twelfth birthday. <laughs> now that you have a Which bucket, I guess in for you. I I'm glad that is that is your limit. Like you have to have a bucket, and then. But if you don't have a bucket, then nah, you ain't worth it. <laughs> the bucket is important. What? Am I stuck in here? No. <gasps> Hello. Happy twelfth birthday, Stephanie's or get well some get well someday. Can I get a balloon and a bucket? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. <gasps> Happy 12th birthday, Aww. Step Niece, it is. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. He's made his decision. I don't even get to be... I can't believe him. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I have my standards. I'm glad you do. You know, I... Uh... Alright, setting a world champion we didn't do. I don't know where it is. I can't see. Oh, there it is. Where's that? It's here. Alright, so we walk through here. And kaboom. It's here. Somewhere? No. Maybe. It doesn't exist. Never mind. <laughs> or I'm being an idiot. Which is very fair. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Um, Alright, let's walk through here. Let's see what happens. Might be the exit, but you know, I have my bucket. I am satisfied. I have my bucket. I can't ask for anything more than the bucket. I have bucket. I am happy. Look at all this science and stuff. So much science. 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 Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's I'm never listening. been done before in a video uh -huh. game. Yeah. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's oh right. my god. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A what if I leap don't want to? Video games as a medium. But what if I don't want to? I don't I, I'm gonna lose my bucket. I don't want to fall down a hole forever. I'm gonna lose my bucket. Guess I have no choice. Down we go. 
If I lose my bucket, I'm gonna be sad. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite mm -hmm. hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even That's more of my ideas for the sequel. I love that so much. So, I... <laughs> This is a weird addition to the game. This is a little bit strange. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I expect, but I did not expect this. Where is... What's happening? That's new. That is new, guys. I think this might be new. I think this might be new. Very possibly new. An epilogue I... would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the- I'm um, not gonna go there. Well, we'll figure that out later. That is new, but I'm not gonna go down there. It's, I don't wanna. All right. Same world champion. We're gonna set world champion. We're gonna be the world of this champion. We have our bucket and we have, we're, we're the world of champion. We can't go into the world of champion. Never mind. All right, <laughs> epilogue it is. That's new. <laughs> I know. It's, they're just like, hey, look at this. Look at this. We added a sign that says epilogue. Isn't this worth all of your money? No screenshots. That's the button. Where is the exit? Have I seen? I think I've seen everything. I don't know what where. What do they want from me? I've been everywhere. I've done it all. Office decorations. Yeah, I've done it all now. Where? What? What's up? What's happening? Where? I'm there. Exit. Oh, exit is over here? No. Yes, maybe. Exit. There's the exit. I was just blind. Look at me go. All right. Let's go. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? I've Ready seen to everything. Move on now? I have seen everything. I've seen all of it. I've seen every single thing that I've ever seen. I've seen it all. No screenshots. I'm not going to take a screenshot. So no screenshots. I can't. Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together mm -hmm. as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. Mm -hmm. It's going mm -hmm. to work. There's it's definitely gonna work a so good great. game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and uh -huh. we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm Here so ready. Is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. Um... Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's yes. sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this I'm is much on the chairs. better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Version 2. So beautiful. I love it. Uh, who am I kidding, Stanley? There are holes. There's no jump circle. I don't like it anymore. At all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Mm hmm I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Indeed. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen the that best says title with screen bold ever. and uncompromising conviction, this the best you've ever is seen. the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. I believe in you. All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. 
That is wonderful. Look at this! Beautiful. Beautiful! And we're beginning of the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company <gasps> in a big <gasps> building where he was employee number 427. I know, it's really meta, employee and that's why I love this game. Like, it's super meta. It, like, it knows not to take itself too seriously. And, and it's just... Buttons uh, on a keyboard. Uh, Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of All every the time. year. And although others might have considered it soul-limiting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Definitely. They have been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was so happy. You have no idea. And but then, then one day, day something very peculiar one day something went very something wrong something that would forever change stanley indeed something he would never quite forget mm -hmm. he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow no one had showed up to give him instructions look at the balloons how can you be sad say, hi never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Look at these balloons! All of his we got balloons gone. now! What could it mean? This is amazing. Stanley decided to go to it's the a whole new game. Whole new game. he had simply missed a memo. It's so beautiful. Uh, just turn off all of them computers. Now it's, it's stop wasting electricity. It's not okay. It's not cool. It's simply not cool. It's simply not cool. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, <gasps> him to pick it up. Where's the bucket? Why was he not doing it? Where's the bucket? Where's the bu bucket? Bucket for <gasps> bucket. Stanley I didn't even see. Up the bucket. I have a bucket. I have a bucket. I am so happy. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm, sure, why not? What do we got to lose? I have a bucket. I'm satisfied. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Maybe. Mayhaps. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I'm gonna go downstairs. And because there is a fact that you can go downstairs, I can go into the basement. Everything, <gasps> everything fun happens in the one basement. Of one of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Oh my you God! Buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. So beautiful. I love it. I love it. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive... So, as you may or may not have noticed at the, um, at the, 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 the thing, there is a content warning for, Why uh, it... themes of mental illness. So, everyone, stay safe. If it's something that you, like, trigger warning, stay safe. If it's something that you don't feel comfortable with, listening to or you know for other reason don't want to listen to it then it's fine <laughs> just turn off the stream be safe i be safe be safe that's it be safe Taken that i risk. don't know exactly what's All going to happen believed everyone had so vanished. his boss would think he was crazy and then, uh, but be safe everyone occurred to stanley maybe 
He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe he's crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. I have am a bucket. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket answered nothing. The bucket returned nothing. his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. Mm -hmm. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's it just is a my normal, bucket. everyday no. bucket. Someone it's else's my bucket. bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? No, this is bucket. all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come <gasps> from this. Did Who just, knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations my Stanley might experience they took without my bucket. the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. <gasps> oh, gracious. He exclaimed, oh, no. without my bucket, I don't I've float. gone truly mad. I want Where bucket. is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Where's Stanley, the bucket? It's me. I want the bucket. the bucket. Could it truly be? He rushed forward what, from it's room my to bucket. room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. It's None of them were bucket. his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find I want my bucket. Me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where Did the I? voice of the bucket had been coming from. Had the it? real bucket was inside of him all along. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was along. painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Ah. Uh... I think the bucket was this literally is the story inside of him. Of a woman named Mariella. Did he eat the bucket? I'm very concerned about Stanley. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security. So, if I remember correctly, once again, I've played this game before. I, if I remember correctly, this has a trigger warning for suicide. So, everyone be safe, and we continue. And walk to her place of work. But on this particular Bucket. day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, well implied, talking Fainer. and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. He lost his this bucket. This man had no bucket. Of course he got mad. Of course mad, he would. Ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions. And yeah, that everything have a is bucket. predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. I want a bucket. Can How I get a bucket? Can be I want a bucket now. And she hugged her own bucket. Can I have a reassurance time. bucket? But of course, she had no time for this. There were a I feel like I need a reassurance bucket. Problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> she backflipped. <laughs> she backflipped her way to work. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, it's different. Bucket. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the it meeting sure room. It sure wasn't. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling the bucket him is that calling the employee to me. lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left, to go back to the meeting room. That's the same. Let's go this way. And so the two of them Lights. detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. There's a giant button. So now we could continue ahead and go to the boring meeting room. Or we could press the button. I'm gonna press the button. I'm going down. Button. Button. Yes. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. Thank I you. I knew you'd find this place eventually. <gasps> Room closet! You see, Hello. your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. 
The uh -huh. bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. But didn't, We're but didn't, the ones didn't. that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. And because the baby. that's what fans want from and a sequel. My wife. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. So beautiful. Yes, I know I'm the one just who like gave the you the bucket, you. but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want I'm another not. story involving the adventure line? Sure. We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Can I go into the broom closet? <gasps> We're gonna get dialogue inside the broom closet? There's a broom? No? We're not gonna get into it? Oh, uh, well, I tried. All right, let's follow the adventure line. Whee! Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? I don't know. Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, it's as classic it's so now funny. as it was back then. Let's do uh, it for so the wacky. fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. No, I don't want to give up my bucket. It's my bucket. Don't make me give up the bucket. Don't it's you my get bucket. It, Stanley. No. We need to get rid of the bucket. No. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This no. is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. No. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, I it don't already want to feels the as though it's been part of the cast I all along. I love the bucket. It's my agree? bucket. I love my bucket. No. Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? I can, and Surely I don't, you don't want need to. Me to. Spell it out for you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Go ahead now, Stanley. No. Say no. goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it no. into the machine when you're ready. I don't want to. I refuse. Now listen to me. It's crucial I that save you the give it the bucket. No. no. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying right, sure. buckets is no. all it knows. That I don't is care. It's singular personality. I don't want to. I don't want to. I can hear you saying, "How does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters?" Well, you it see, doesn't. if you were to really explore the bucket no. destroyer, you would I see refuse. that its desire to I crush refuse. buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. No. What other object in this game can you even say that the about? Bucket. The broom closet? Certainly no. not. Bucket. I wonder what sort of bucket destroyer merchandise bucket. the fans will be clamoring for after this. We have okay, to the this bucket a good destroyer time. is getting very upset now. You'll no. have to hurry and feed it. We I can't will not. get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. I don't wanna. Now. No. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the, the fans, fans are waiting. The fans want, want me to save and... the bucket. I'm sorry. I hate to break to you, but the fans do want me to save the bucket. I. <laughs> we have all agreed that we want to save the bucket. I hate to break to you. Did it die? Have we the killed the bucket destroyer. destroyer? My prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Not enough potential. I you know what? I like the bucket. Now what? Oh, it's fading. <laughs> I saved the bucket. I'm very proud of myself. I have saved the bucket. Give me a bucket. I want Someone bucket. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. I'm sorry, what now? I'm the bucket destroyer destroyer. That is amazing. I'm sorry, what now? Someone is following me? I don't like the sound of that. That- I don't- I don't- I- hmm. Figure found- Oh my god, I think there's- There might be a figurine in the- In the- in the, in the thing. 
In the thing, in the meeting room. Hello. Do we grab the bucket? The bucket's straight. I'm the gonna grab the bucket. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. The bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. So last time, wait, when we went insane, we didn't look. I want to go to the meeting room. Oh yeah, because we went down. We went. We went down. It's a ghost. <laughs> That's so. I, it did it. Did it really? How can we find them all? Trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless to be honest. We're spending few reads. Ideas. What do they do? Our data. Stock options. Money. Why floating magnets? Training exercise or management? Dreams. How many are there? Six. I would hope. Can we sell them? Obviously. <laughs> uh, someone in cargo room. That's cool. There's one in cargo room. I'll come back. Shaggy the real stream is still streaming. Look at me go. I haven't run out of entertainment. I have so we need more plans. We need so many plans. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access to past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Retrieve cri Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. I inside sequel to a large room, lots of Oh! I these are the tools that I've collected. A private bus metal place for an important person. Uh nearby fireplace. Some are both red and blue. So that's the room with the red and blue door. A lot of room lots of boxes. I'm not sure. Um nearby fireplace, I would assume is the boss's place. A private bus metal place for an important person. I don't know. Because I is there a toilet somewhere? I would assume, but I don't know. Oh my god. There will be cleaning of this while required. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That's cool. So one in here. Oh, Small room for Can you feel it? I... The broom closet. It wants <gasps> the bucket. No. You can feel it's that, my bucket. The no. Jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom All right, closet believes you. Bye. it deserves Hope a I bucket. see you next time. Hope you have a good rest of your day. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom no. closet. No. That's what the broom closet is trying to the say. The broom closet is trying to steal my bucket. No. Supplies. No. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. No. Don't hand over the bucket. I will not. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders it's my right bucket. now. But you have to be strong. This is your it's bucket. It's my bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. Yes. You can't hand it over. It's my best friend. Oh, no. I, I will not. Now, no. It seems. no. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. It's my bucket. Wait, now the broom closet has been <gasps> to imply that you and the no. bucket are truly deep and lasting no, friends. No, the broom closet, that your you would never, I can't believe this. Convenient. I that cannot your believe life this. is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which I happened to lay in your it. path in an even partially enticing manner. I well, can't I no. Never. Go on, it's Stan. my bucket. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its, its demeaning comments. my bucket. Comments. How dare Expand you? It's my bucket. It's my best bucket. You and the bucket best have friend. shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape I will. of your feelings for the bucket. Welcome back, Lucho. They have changed and evolved over the years. I Very know. How it. dare the nerd? I can't believe it. I am. I'm gonna leave the room. I don't try. I f screw you. How dare you? I was just looking Coming for a staircase, for 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 for, for secrets, and then the you were like, "Now nah, I'm gonna insult you," and that's not okay. That is simply not okay. <gasps> you could go into the executive bathroom. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about must mini there? stands? Stanley mini things. stands? Um, 
What about Stanlerines? Yes, Stanlerines. I think I like that. <laughs> another Stanlerine under your belt. All right then, I got another Stanlerine. Um, all right, so that's the bathroom. Apparently there was a bathroom. I'm just stupid. There is going to be one by the fireplace, I would assume. Um. The other one's a room full of boxes? I don't know where that is. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? The bucket was knew the all bucket along. Guiding him? The bucket yes, is helping me. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh wait, by a fire? Is it where the baby? Is it the baby? No, never mind. There is a cool okay, one. I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense Stanleys. of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. You'll you'll find out eventually, yeah. Oh, it'll be such a glorious day. Uh, down we go, I guess. I assume. All right, let's go. <laughs> the elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an downwards. unknown fate. Yes. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Bucket! Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be alright. Yes. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. The bucket is here for me. Everything will be I have fine. a bucket now, and it's my best friend. They're shooting at me. Alright, then. I s didn't expect that one. Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large no, we door did not. red. Mind control for although this passage way had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the it's end very of this cool. hall, it's my bucket, the bucket, bucket friend is my best friend. Violent death. Bucket friend is best friend, and I love bucket shut. friend. Stanley and the bucket still had every nope. opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Mm, yes, but have you considered bucket? At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward yes. into a very painful death for each of them. I'm fine with that. There's a hole in the ground. Let's jump down, shall we? Bucket. Everything's exploding. I don't like it. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what um. Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. It's fine. It's fine. See? Everything's fine. Farewell, I can't die. Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Sad times. Oh no, I'm falling. That's the wrong way. Alright, cool. Stanley Parable. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's we have the narrative now. It's a agent in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. The bucket. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh my god. Welcome you to the. <laughs> Welcome to the grand exhibit. Oh my god, we have a bucket exhibit? Can this you is see wonderful. how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket, bucket. is far more noble than Stanley will I ever take be the in his well, short life? I love bucket. I They made a museum 
<laughs> I know, we need another bucket now. See, bucket is important. They worship bucket as well. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It no is one can man own a bucket, really. Kneel before the bucket. The hanging bucket. I'm just gonna. Oh, never mind. <gasps> I have a bucket. But there is something we can do. There is so something many things we can, we can do. do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Bucket. Let's stand down. Let him be crushed by the no. machine. No. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Well, her solution was really to kill Stanley as well. What the heck? I feel offended. I don't stand for this. That's it. I'm done with this game. That- nope. I- I can't believe it. That was the end of the stream. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Um, so that was the only parable. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, uh, so. That was Stanley Parable. What did we think? Do, would we be interested in... First of all, would, be, would we be interested in a... Uh, in doing the stream again? Or am I now allowed to explore on my own? <laughs> uh, but yeah. That was, that was it for today, unfortunately. Uh, I hate to break to you. Let's find someone to raid. Please be quiet. Are you quiet? You are quiet. Look at you go. Um... I- you know what? What do we have to lose? Never mind. We have so much to lose. <laughs> More bucket. More bucket indeed. Um... I'm trying to find a streamer who also playing the game. It's getting- it's getting- it's- it's- it's going great. You know? It's going great. Uh, that's me. I found myself. <laughs> I have found myself. Look at me go. Alright. Uh, yes. Let me raid. Let me do the raiding. Let's see if they allow it. They do. Hopefully, I think. Alright, we're gonna raid them. Join in on the raid, and then you get the funny points to make me talk in Swedish. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was everything for today's stream. My next stream will be on Monday, but the best place- I'm so famous for myself, I know. Uh, the next show will be on Monday, but the best way to find out if that changes is to join my Discord, where you get all of the updates. Uh, but yeah, this is a really fun stream. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!